What's going on, y'all? Uh, figured I'd make this video right quick. A uh, funny story just happened, literally just happened, and uh, I'm about to tell y'all about it. I don't know if y'all can see in the background here, but I'm in a hotel room. I have to talk close to the phone because the phone is a piece of junk. Uh, but uh, I can't resist to tell y'all this story. So anyway, uh, I decided tonight I would get me a room. It's Saturday, you know, and it'd be nice to be in a fancy hotel room for a change, which is not a usual thing for me or us, you know, probably one of the fanciest $55 hotel rooms you will ever see. Uh, so anyway, uh, I got this room and... Um, I was in the <clears throat> bathroom vessel, uh, sinking battleships and carrying on, scrubbing and carrying on and having a good time, you know, enjoying my little jacuzzi. <laughs> and, uh, I hear uh, some person come up and say, "Hey, somebody, some guy is at the door." Now, mind you, this person, this this female person, said, "Well, she left a few minutes before that and came back." You know, it's such a ritzy hotel. She came, she left and came back, and I guess you know somebody was interested, so to speak, and. Uh, She's back in the room here, and then so this guy gets to knocking on the door. Now, I'm in the tub, minding my business, having bathtub time to myself, playing with my rubber duckies and carrying on. And she comes and says, some guy's knocking at the door. So the biggest mistake anyone could make is to interrupt my bathtub time. That's almost as bad as eating my oatmeal cream pies. Now, when this happened, I proceeded to try to stay calm because if you eat my oatmeal cream pies, I don't know what I might do. But if you interrupt my bathtub time, we got a problem, especially when I'm in such a fancy, glorious, wonderful $50 hotel in the hood. <laughs> So I get up, I get out the tub, I didn't grab a towel, I didn't grab some pants, I didn't grab a shirt, I didn't grab nothing to cover myself. I just went straight to the door, opened it up and said, can I help you? And he looked at me, then he looked down, and then he looked at my legs, and then he looked at the serious look on my face. And realize he might have knocked on the wrong door. <laughs> uh, that was a Spanish guy, and I ain't got nothing against Spanish people or nothing. But he didn't have the opportunity to say me speaking no English because he was too shocked. He was too shocked that a naked man opened the door to, to think anything. All he could say is lighter. Uh, I need a lighter. Do you have a lighter? And I said, no, nah, I ain't no lighter here, man. And I proceeded to close the door, walk back into the bathroom, and get back and try to enjoy my bathtub time <laughs> in my wonderful $50 hotel room with the miniature jacuzzi that some people call a bathtub. Yeah. Anyway, just figured I would share that story with you. Uh, if you like this, video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. It's probably 2 o'clock in the morning, but I'm sure somebody's watching. I probably should have done a live, uh, but at the same time, I don't think that I should have done a live while I was answering the door button naked, but it would have been interesting. It definitely, it would have been the highlight of the
videos I've made, I'm sure. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later, and uh, yeah.